27th anniversary of Bad Boys, and introduce the world to a director who would redefine the Hollywood blockbuster. One year later saw the release of The Rock. Two years after that was Armageddon. In just four years, Michael Bay's first three movies had already grossed over a billion dollars with Transformers still on the way. And that was, just to put that number in perspective, this was when a movie ticket cost less than five bucks. So that's a lot of admissions, as they say, in an international, that's how they keep track of it. Um, today, audiences know a Michael Bay movie in seconds. The energy and style is instantly recognizable. And tonight, with Ambulance, Bayhem has been going strong for 15 films. I'm so proud to have produced this one with him, prouder perhaps to have survived. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Beck. Hey guys, exciting to be here. It's a new uh, cinema experience. I haven't been to this, this building. Um, let me ask a question. Uh, is there a, any snipers in the house? Stand up. Okay. Are there any SWAT? Stand up. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Is there any elite SIS? Come on. Come on, guys. I see you. I know you're here. It's like... They're all here. Do we have any helicopter air units? Stand up. Come on, guys. Come on, stand up. No, no, you gotta all stand up. Everyone's gotta stand up and stay standing up. Keep standing up. Do we have... I want LAPD. Everyone from LAPD to stand up. I want the sheriff. Where's the sheriff? Where's the sheriff? Stand up. No, no, keep standing up. Keep standing up. This is for you guys. Do we have any LA paramedics in the house? stage and slap me right now. <laughs> anyway, Will and I are buddies. Um, uh, we all in this room are very proud of you. And for first responders, uh, I've made a lot of movies uh, about them. My first one was, well, Bad Boys. They were a lot funnier than you guys, but it's still about police and first responders. And this movie shows how important uh, you people are to society. When you see movies like this, you realize why you are here and putting your lives online. So we all thank you. So this film was shot uh, in the height of LA pandemic. Literally, it was a year ago, January. We did it in uh, 38 days, very, very fast. And I'm always trying to get a little too ambitious uh, uh, well, listen, let me just give you a quick, quickie story, and then I'm going to get on with it. But, like, first day, low, 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 in, low, like, we're spending, I think we're spending $40 million on this movie. Okay? For me, that's small. All right. And, and I'm shooting in a little, little, pit, little mom van. Okay? The door's off. The back door's off. The pit adventures are off. They strap a camera uh, on, in the back, and we're going to shoot some silly shots of an ambulance driving at speed on a freeway. And then all of a sudden, five highway patrol cops roll in, in these nice shiny cars and three motorcycle cops. And I'm like, hello, would you guys like to be in my movie? They go, yeah, yeah. I said, so what are you guys doing to chase? And they go, well, we dog the ambulance, whatever. We do rolling blocks. I'm like, wow, because my producer, he said, Michael, it's going to cost us $400,000 to shut down a freeway. And it takes two months of planning. And I'm like, well, I got my friends right here. We took a picture, and they loved my movie. And like, and like, we all went on that freeway 90 miles an hour. They were doing rolling blocks for free, all right? So I'm going to sweet talking. I hope they don't get in trouble. All right. Um, so where are we? Uh, okay, thank you. It's my crew. The only way I could have gotten this done was with my amazing crew. Um, and, uh, they, they, you know, we would do a normal movie shoots about 20, 25 shots, 30 shots a day. We were shooting 120, all right? But, but we survived. You did not, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> you did. He did. He did. All right. So I want to talk about an actor 
uh, who I've always wanted to work with. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was a baby blue eyes or whatnot, but this is a man who commands a screen. He's a consummate actor, and um, I loved working with him. Jake Gyllenhaal. Let me break him out. Don't be shy. I mean, he's shy. I mean, I get you. He's very shy. He's very shy. Um, there's a, a woman in the film, uh, and it, I'm so proud of her. I told her, I think day three, I said, I'm going to make you better than you've ever been. And um, she is very powerful in this movie. Uh, let's bring her out, Aza Gonzalez. There's some directors in the room, apparently. She wanted me, me, me to be oh nice. So I just know there's competition for her because there's many of you in the, in the uh, there's a couple movies buying for her, correct? Is that what you want me to say? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, now the next one, uh, Peter Kramer who works at the studio. He suggested I look at Yaya. And I'm like, what's a Yaya? And he goes, it's, a, it's an actor. He, it's ya I said, is that a real name? I said, I said, I've never heard. Yeah, he goes, yeah, it's Yaya. I said, I've never heard of Yaya. So I see his stuff. And I'm like, that guy is going to be a movie star. I want to work with him. Now, here is Mr. Superfly. Yeah, yeah. God, we're not live TV. All right. Jake, would you like to say anything? Just don't worry. The movie's only four times as long as its introduction. <laughs> That's all. No, I, I, it's just wonderful that you're all, we're all together in a space about to go have uh, the biggest theatrical experience you can have in a space like this. It's just wonderful to be back, and it's just an honor to be with all you. That's it. <laughs> Um, well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. This is a very special night for all of us. It's uh, been, you know, brewing, and we're just excited. This is a movie, again, the first responders. Really, thank you so very much for everything you've done the last three years. A round of applause for you guys, really. Really, I feel so honored to be playing paramedic in this film. It means the world to me. It means the world to me to share with you guys and what we did, and I'm just honored, and thank you, Michael, for believing in us. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Um, look, I'm so excited to be doing this. I won't hold y'all too long, but look, you know, we made this during a tough time, uh, at a time where we hoped that we could uh, put it out and then eventually fill up a theater with people. You know, so uh, we did that tonight. Hopefully, you know, we can do that for the rest of the run. Uh, but we're so excited to share this uh, with you all. Um, I'm excited to have a drink with Michael and let him watch The Matrix and Aquaman and Candyman and Travis Chicago 7. <laughs> Maybe Miami went and worked on Watchmen and, you know, other things like that. And then we can have a good time. That's a good joke. He never used it when he did the world tour. This is a new one. He's trying a new joke tonight. Oh, uh, man. But, uh, no, seriously, thank you all so much for coming out. I hope you all have a good time. Uh, enjoy the movie. Peace. <laughs> There's a couple actors real fast. Devin Long's in the, in the crowd. Kier O'Donnell, Wale, yeah, and Martinez. Here, here. This is Wale's first movie, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Olivia Stambula, she's really funny. Cedric Sanders, Colin Woodell, Jesse Garcia, Andy Fabro, and then Jamie McBride was the police officer who set this whole thing up and got me 52 real police officers in this movie. Um, that's why they look so authentic. And thank you to Universal, Donna, Peter, Jeff Shell, Matt, uh, and uh, Jimmy Horowitz always busts my balls. You're here, right? <laughs> he, he, he talks budget. He deals with money. <laughs>